With the COVID-19 pandemic inflicting havoc across the world, the football season has been suspended indefinitely since mid-March, forcing us to watch toilet roll challenges and Instagram lives. However, the Bundesliga has paved the way for other leagues by successfully restarting their season. Of course, the one player to watch out for Manchester United fans as football returns is Borussia Dortmund's Jadon Sancho. Throughout the past year, the rumours of Sancho returning to the Premier League and Manchester United specifically have received a significant amount of buzz in the tabloids and across the internet. And it seems that ever since Jadon Sancho left for Germany, he was always destined to return to his homeland. And the only question now is when that happens and not if. However, in recent times, with clubs including United struggling with their revenues, it is unsure whether the Red Devils will be able to engineer a move for the Englishman this summer. But diverse sponsorship deals and less dependence on matchday and broadcast revenue puts them in a much better position than their rivals. Even Fabrizio Romano, the most reliable journalist when it comes to transfers, stated that... The reality in this moment, what I know in this moment, is that Manchester United are in love with Jadon Sancho, the management of Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer saying everyone in Manchester United are in love with Jadon Sancho and they want to sign him. And I think if coronavirus were not affecting, were going to affect, was not going to affect this, this transfer market, I think Manchester United were going to do an important offer for him. According to Romano, even Dortmund's director of football, Michael Zorg, seems to be relaxed as they know Sancho has an important value and they can afford to keep him in Germany for an additional year. Jadon Sancho started off his youth career at Watford before joining Manchester City at the age of 14, where he quickly moved up the ranks at the Etihad. Sancho was widely known around England as the next big thing, and the City chairman, Khaldun Al Mubarak, stated he would be fast-tracked into the senior setup. Despite that, the young Englishman had several issues with his playing time, as he fell behind to the likes of Sterling, Sane, Bernardo Silva and Nolito for City's first-team place. In 2017, he finally forced a move to Borussia Dortmund for a reported fee of a around £8 million. Since his arrival in Germany, he's had a meteoric rise and is now one of the best young footballers on the planet. In his three seasons at Dortmund, he's bagged 31 goals and has provided 42 assists. Last season, he finished the Bundesliga with 14 assists and at the age of 19, he was the second highest assister in Europe's top five leagues behind Eden Hazard. More impressively, this season he's elevated his game to the next level, bagging 17 goals and 19 assists so far, averaging a goal contribution every game. But there have been a few bumps along the way for Sancho at Dortmund. After returning late from three lines duty in October, Sancho was dropped, fined and publicly criticised by sporting director Michael Zorg, which has put a spotlight on his exit. His contract runs out in 2022 and is currently valued at around £100 million. Clubs such as Chelsea, Barcelona and Real Madrid are all interested in signing the young sensation, but it looks like England is Sancho's preferred destination and Manchester United are the favourites to sign him should he leave. Jaden Sancho is a natural winger who possesses bags of flair, trickery and blistering pace. He can play on both sides of the pitch, starting his career on the left with the Manchester City reserves, but making a shift to the right at Dortmund. He loves to run with the ball at his feet and cut inside from the wings, averaging 2.6 dribbles per game this season in the Bundesliga. He also possesses great vision and creativity to find runs of teammates with incisive through balls in between players and is currently averaging 2.2 key passes per game. Sancho is also very expressive when he gets on the ball, especially when he takes defenders on in 1v1 situations and runs the ball into space behind the defence. He's extremely skillful with the ball at his feet and is very good in tight spaces. At the Westfalen Stadion, Lucien Favreur uses Sancho as one of the two wide midfielders, predominantly on the right in his structured 4-2-3-1 formation. One of the strengths of the Borussia Dortmund team this season has been creating goal-scoring chances from wide areas and the majority of those come from Sancho's brilliance. Sancho is a nightmare for fullbacks and defenders and the standout thing about him is his end product which shows that decision-making ability is way ahead of his age. He knows when to hold on to the ball, release, pass or shoot, creating 2.6 chances per game. Despite his young age, he's already mastered the final ball and is also decent at finishing chances, which is evident by the fact that he's already put up double figures in both goals and assists this season. The only other player who has done that so far in Europe's big five leagues this season is Lionel Messi. Sancho's profile makes him a perfect fit for Manchester United. His pace, agility and ability to play on the counter-attack is something United have been longing for for quite some time. Moreover, Manchester United desperately needs a right winger and Sancho plugs that gap perfectly. The hope of Alexi Sanchez is long gone, Juan Mata is nothing more than a role player and although Dan James has shown glimpses of promise, he's far from the finished article. 
There is a vacancy at right wing which Jadon Sancho can easily slot into at Old Trafford. If United were to sign Jadon Sancho, he would be utilised in the right side of the 4-2-3-1 system used by Solskjaer, which is quite similar to his role in Dortmund. Along with Rashford and Martial, the three of them will form quite an explosive front three which will be direct and deadly on the counter-attack. Furthermore, each of them has the ability to play out wide or through the middle, which gives Solskjaer the flexibility to use them interchangeably depending on the opposition. They could also easily swap sides and positions during the game to wreak havoc and confusion in opposition defences. Playing in the hole behind them is United's current new star signing and February's Premier League Player of the Month, Bruno Fernandes. Sancho's presence on the wing would only benefit a player like Bruno Fernandes. Sancho will be able to spread the ball with his width and stretch opposition defences, leaving more space for players like Fernandes to utilise to create chances or have shots on goal. The midfield double pivot of the increasingly impressive Fred and World Cup winner Paul Pogba also stand to benefit from Sancho's presence in the team. Pogba likes to make marauding runs from midfield into the box, and a player like Sancho has done really well at Dortmund in finding players such as Witzel and Delaney making these late runs into the box themselves. Sancho will also boost the overall mood and atmosphere around Old Trafford if he signs. He'll bring back a sense of optimism and give United the extra firepower they need to challenge the noisy neighbours and their age-old rivals down the M62 and break that duopoly that has ruled over England for the last three seasons. The traditions rooted in Manchester are those of explosive wingers running down the wing and this attacking philosophy seems to have been lost in recent years. And with the signing of the English sensation, United can work towards restoring their attacking pride. Greats such as Best, Beckham and Ronaldo have worn the historic number 7 shirt and Jadon Sancho could be the next in line to grace the hallowed turf in Manchester, don this mantle and etch his name in glory at the Theatre of Dreams with the number 7 on his back. That's it for today everyone, so what do you think? Will United sign Jadon Sancho in the upcoming transfer window? And if so, how will he fit in? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and click here to watch some of our latest videos. See you all soon.